All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Today's going to be a really long video. We're going to be talking about Memorial 3-Gun. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, what it is, is it's a 3-Gun uh, uh, event put on by the Memorial 3-Gun Foundation. Probably close to 300 shooters this year. We had actually, I think it was 275. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It uh, honors, remembers, and memorializes uh, 10 individuals who were in the special operations community. We're talking about MARSOC. We're talking about PJs, Air Tactics, Special Operations Tactics, Air Tactics, whatever you want to call those guys. That, that's way after my time. Uh, and, of course, Rangers and the SF guys. So, uh, interestingly enough, I uh, ran into a couple of people. I was camping out, and I hauled a big trailer with my little four-door sedan. It's absolutely funny because when I roll in there, man, I roll in. And uh, an individual was parked right next to me in their tent, and I thought it would be a lot more fun to sit down there in the remote area and uh, met this young man his name was Blake 16 year old ass kicking three gunner and I'm going to help him out we're going to be uh, doing some, probably some live chats and uh, making sure that he is recognized by some manufacturers It'd be really good for those guys to jump in there and help him speaking of manufacturers I just want to give a big shout out to the guys over there at Armor Craft uh, we utilize their brake and barrel on this with the pistol uh, also uh, Ultradine Man, I'm going to tell you something. There's some videos, there's parts of these videos where you'll see that rifle that I'm shooting, it doesn't move. And it's partly because of, one, the trigger system by Trigger Tech and Ultradine, the muzzle brake. All right, enough of that. Ah, primary arms. This couldn't be done without you guys. Thank you very much, Dimitri. We got a new saying. We just ACSS this stage. So it's a badass thing. Uh, we were shooting out to almost 600 yards, 590, and it was a stage of 550. It had some moving targets. Anyway, long story short, man, we had some fun time. Uh, hey, here we go, man. Uh, so the first stage that we shot was stage four. Uh, it was kind of a memory stage. A lot of people have some issues with this thing. I keep it simple. Go left to right, right to left, whatever it is. So here it is. Enjoy it. There's going to be some uh, B-roll in there and have some fun. Stand by. All right, guys, we're at Memorial 3-Gun. We have checked in. Look at all the campers. There's a Tesla. There's all kinds of stuff. It looks really full down here because you know what we're going to do is I am going to go down to the overflow line. Look at that beautiful sky. Unbelievable. There's a dude in a cowboy hat. There's a bunch of campers. We just checked in, got my free, or actually a free T-shirt. I just had to pay for it. But anyway, there it is, man. I'm so excited. This is going to be one of the best years ever. I'm very excited to be here. I uh, can't wait. I just ran into a bunch of friends from all the other uh, three guns we've been in the last couple of days or weeks or months, and it's just going to be awesome. But we're going to go down here to the overflow and uh, <laughs> camp out where there's not these big wide-ass open generators running. But anyway, there you go. Wow. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. We start off at 1 o'clock tomorrow.
man, don't worry about it. You know. If you could, you could have type 2 diabetes like me, <laughs> and your damn dot be all over the place. That's why I don't ever shoot pistol. Where's John at? I gotta say hi. All right, guys, so this is one of the coolest ROs. This cat come all the way to us from like Arkansas or some shit. Arizona. Like that. Arizona, same thing. <laughs> Arizona, Arkansas. Anyway, he walks up to me and goes, man. I, I recognize you. You got a YouTube channel? I said, nah, it's a, I'm a gay porn star. So, uh, anyway, we had to, everybody looked at him and was like, what the hell are you watching? So, anyway, John, thanks very much, man. Thank this is a man. great stage, brother. Y'all doing great. Hey, and thanks for all the guys out there who uh, put this thing together. We're, this is the first stage of the day. This is uh, stage four. And we're here to celebrate this young man's life. Uh, passed away uh, from cancer. Horrible way to die. Especially when you're a hero. See ya. All right, guys, so here we are. One of the shooters out here, Ms. Jessica Hook. That's one of the reasons why I'm out here. And uh, she's the case of Superman who likes to fly off the second floor. Y'all might remember that. This is a lot of fun. And this guy shooting over here, he's from the UK. And I said, what is that, the uh, University of Kentucky? He's like, no, oh, dumbass, that be Britain. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that thing. We did some commentary between them. I think on day two, I was more concentrating on shooting. And this next stage, this one always gets me, man. It's shooting from the airplane. There's a big old airliner out there that they retired, and they've turned this thing into a shoot house almost, where you're shooting outside, out into a field. Now, I think we were shooting out to 250 yards with a rifle. Two long targets with pistol out to 150 yards. Man-sized targets, call them M6, and then uh, shotgun, of course. Now, one of the cool things is, and thank you for the Westbrooks, who uh, greatly gave me some huge information uh, on how to run this shotgun. A shotgun, the VR80, we got that thing tuned in, man, and it ran. I think out of the whole stage, I was probably two, at least 250 uh rounds on the count with the shotgun and i had two or three malfunctions at most and it's so funny that's a uh, i think i probably got a thousand dollars in that gun all together and the guys out there with their three or four thousand dollar dissonance man there's a i can't laugh at them because i was with them a little while ago but anyway shooting from the uh airplane you can see at the very beginning of this stage uh there was a huge spread i was shooting with a uh improved cylinder and then uh, the Westbrook's like, man, just run full choke on that thing and rock it out. And sure enough, on the last two stages of the whole thing, that's what I did. So enjoy it. This is the plane stage. Uh, pistol, rifle, shotgun. Stand by. All right. So on the last stage, I actually did pretty damn gum good. But Jeremy, my videographer, well, he, yeah, he's right over there. He heard me right there. It's okay. I'm going to give him a second chance. This is a pretty cool one. All right. So anyway, we're shooting out this airplane, okay? Go ahead, kill him, baby. Got those. Get it! <laughs> oh, that's badass. But you got to shoot pistol. We're shooting out to 100 yards with pistol and then the rifle. So you'll see it here in a few minutes. This is badass. Uh, just do <laughs> some B roll stuff. You know? All, right. All right, what are we doing? Uh, this is the Southeast rifle. Airlines. Rifle right in there. Okay. Muzzle down, please. And you, you shouldn't open yet. Yeah, let's do a tripod as well. I'll take your rifle. And you can grab your tripod. Several passengers have been sick on this flight. Set it on up. I vote forward? Yep. All right. Vote forward. All right. Are you ready? I guess so. Stand by. Moving. Okay. Hit! Oh, let's try one more time. Hit! Nice. Hit! 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 
over. Wow. Hit! Oh shit, I know what. Hit! Nice one one nine four eight. Nice run. All right. Well, you know, two cameraman men for me and i would hand the phone it's funny i'd hand the phone over and say it's running and this guys would forget about it and they would hit the button thinking that it wasn't running and of course i didn't get my two of the stages recorded but that's okay i got andrew who was a really cool dude he was running a vr80 also uh without a break but he's able to put the pure gold uh or some other type of uh, chokes in it so guess what i got some pure golds as well so here's uh andrew running the uh jungle phase or the jungle 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 phase yeah, that's a rem old, 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 uh, old uh, thing over here. Okay, so anyway, this is Andrew kicking ass and taking names in the dark because we were in a we were on an afternoon uh, crew that went through all these stages, and uh, he was last to shoot on this thing. And boy, oh boy, he did not uh, disappoint. So here it is, Andrew, kick ass and take names. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So this is a uh, jungle stage, all shotgun, lots of shotgun, lots of hidden stuff, lots of little things in the woods. Um, this is gonna be fun, but it's getting really the sun's getting to settle, so we gotta haul ass and take names. Uh, and there's two slug shots on the end that we gotta take at some point. We'll see, but there's some flyers right there. One comes at you, one goes away. Really neat stuff. We'll see it. All right, we're rocking it, man. This is the uh, jungle run. Andrew's last up, my the second infamous videographer to have some issues. Well, anyway. As you can see, it's damn dark. So this should make for an interesting run. Here we go. All right, when you are ready. See how light out there, dark in here. There's Jeremy. Marine. Ready to go and make it hot. Feet on the line. All right, pointing at my rock. Shoot on set. Shoot on set across fire. Shoot her ready. Stand by. Hey! Nice. Oh, shit. Rocking it, folks. Two for one. There we go. Can you see that somebody? He got it. Got it. Nice. Oh my god, I can't believe he hit that one. You got one right here. Here we go. I'm gonna give you the engagements except for the one. You guys need for um, uh, some sort of clean up or reset tonight. All right, this is the first stage of day two. We were in the AM shoots. So we started shooting at 7:30. Yours truly. Uh, I think I was second 
shooter. Uh, we had Jessica Hook was out there with us, the same guys, Jeremy, Joe, uh, a couple of the other people, man, Oliver from the UK, really cool dude, Brian, uh, Todd, you're the man. We, we, our motto was, where's Todd? So <laughs> anyway, this is the tower stage. We were shooting out to, I think, 350 yards, I believe it was. It was 152, 53, 50, 450, three, uh, something like that. In this one, you're going to notice that I was like really proud of myself because I cleared the uh, long range. And it was some good wind kicking up that day. And he was like, are you sure you're done? And then watch what I do to the spinner when I'm pissed off. So this is a pure testament to the Ultradyne, that pure balance of that rifle with the trigger system. <clears throat> Man, it kicked this. Also, we were shooting a pistol out to like 80 yards. So anyway, here it is. Here's the tower stage. Y'all be good. Stand by. <laughs> Yeah, Excuse me, guys. All right, yeah. continue your make ready. Yeah, no rifle on that. White steel. White steel is either bird shot or something. Like a blue steel is rifle or some other color. All right, John, you're going to be heels on that line, standing erect, muzzle uh, X. <laughs> I didn't say it. All right, you got to stand straight up. Straight up. All right. Are you ready? Stand by. All right, so that was the tower stage. This next stage, I'm trying to breeze through these things. Oh, by the way, I am drinking a little bit of this right here. This is a brand of bourbon called Horse Soldiers. Okay, so this was put together by the guys who actually, uh, let's see, it is carefully crafted by who? those Green Berets who answered America's call just days after 9-11 with a daring insertion into the northern Afghanistan horseback. On horseback, this brave and unconventional act earned them the moniker, the Horse Soldiers. Have you ever seen the movie 12 Strong? That's this. And this bourbon is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so what are we talking about? This next stage was probably the most fun stage of them all. We got to use the Genesis 12 to breach a door, go in there. I found out. I used the magazine from the last stage. It was half full, had a problem there. And then and this, at the end of it, you're going to see that uh, I run out of ammo and uh, I actually picked up a round and popped it and popped one through the A zone to complete the stage. This had a mover on it. So the minute that you finish going and crazy uh, and you dumped your shotgun, they moved, started the mover. It was coming at us. 
uh, probably about 200, 225 yards. And all I did was I positioned uh, my uh, reticle right in front of it and just blasted off about four rounds. I actually hit the guy twice. And then we finished up the stage. So here we go. We were shooting out to 550 yards on this one. But this is the most fun stage. And I found my pistol magazine that was supposed to put into that pistol. It was laying in the floor when I staged my rifle. Here we go. Have fun. Touch the stick. Don't be afraid to load it. Close the door. It ain't going anywhere. All right. Shooter, are you ready? Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Me a clear rifle. Can I get a look at the clock? Rifle is clear. One seven three eight six. If you made it this far into the whole thing, and believe me, I'm going to sit back on the big screen and watch it myself this evening because I really haven't sat through and watched this whole, whole deal. I think we're probably about 20 minutes into this guy. This is one where we have to sit in a uh, a wagon or uh, a trailer and we're pulled behind a uh, and i just want a big kudos to the guy that was uh running that thing he was in a wheelchair but you know what he was out there participating in this whole deal man kudos to you sir for kicking ass and taking names but this was a fun stage pistol rifle a rifle no it's rifle and you i oh i had to pull my pistol and because i found out just after the stage in the, in the jungle run <laughs> i couldn't figure out why my shotgun was shooting about three feet to the left and three feet low it's because of this stage right here. And if you'll understand why now, I gently placed my shotgun in there. The riser broke on that thing. And we'll get that at the next stage. But this is a lot of fun. Here we go. Have fun. Pointed at the orange start still. Are you ready? Stand by! Yeah, I struggled on...
All right, so I had to pull the pistol out on that one to finish her up. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't hitting that thing, but I figured it out on this stage when, uh, yeah, when you're about 10 or 15 feet away from a clay pigeon and you're, you're, you're sh this big old spread of bird shots hitting about two feet left and two feet low, I adjusted. And luckily, I finished up everything uh, with the exception of the spinner at the end. I think I missed a clay or something along the way. Um, but I got both of the, the uh, flyers, which is interesting. So, uh, yeah, the uh, riser broke on the thing, skewing that red dot way over here. And I was really worried it was the red dot because I didn't have a replacement. And I was spent up all night long the night after that uh, trying to figure out how I was going to do this. And a big old uh, Blake's dad, Bill, had a nice tool set. Let me borrow it the next morning. We went out and zeroed that bad boy in five seconds, and we were on the range shooting again. So, anyway, this is a fun stage. Check it out. Shoot sure ready. Stand by. My dot. Rifle's oh, clear. It's way off. Big shout out to Patrick on that one. So, in any case, uh, we figured out what was going on on that stage. And this next one, this is fun. The Westbrooks, my favorite ROs of all time. I'm going to tell you that right now. Those guys are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we were shooting out to 600 yards on this one. And uh, I think I was number one shooter on this guy. I was the first one to... No, was I? No, I think I was second to last. It was one of them where I was number one. I had to lead off. So anyway, this was a fun one. Uh, shotgun, rifle, and pistol. I've elected not. I just loaded the pistol up in case of an emergency, needing it at the end of the day. And uh, didn't need it. Ran this one clean. If you listen at the end, somebody got a bunch of cheers going on, some clapping. Here we go. Have fun. Oh, what's your long range? Left to right. Left to right. All right, gonna stand across fire. Yeah. All right, shoot ready. Yep. Stand by.
This is the final stage. We actually had 10 stages, but I had two cameramen who uh, failed. But uh, thanks to Blake, who followed me around because he was shot with the ROs. Uh, he and his dad were working the event, and uh, he didn't have anything else to do. But So he followed me around and, and volunteered to be one uh, coach because I tell you what, man, you never know everything. And then secondly, to run the camera. So on this one, this is the last jungle uh, run. Uh, there was a spinner at the beginning. I'm pretty good. I just want a big shout out to Army Craft for uh, that muzzle brake. Made a big difference. I'm running full 147 grains at the uh, spinner. If I'd have just concentrated on the spinner instead of trying to do some other things, the biggest deal is I left a piece of steel. Here's where the big difference is. At the end of the day, uh, the shotgun ran great and... Guess what? We were planting those slugs on target where we needed to be. So this is the final stage. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand by. Time. 10717. Rifle clear! All right, well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The sixth annual Memorial Three Gun. It's more, it's, it's a lot about shooting. It's a lot about camaraderie. It's a lot about getting together and hanging out. And you know what? Making friends. Uh, a couple of the guys, uh, Jeremy and Joe, I've shot with before, ran into a bunch of other guys that we've shot with in the past and on the big majors, guys coming in from Kentucky. Uh, there was a gentleman who uh, came down from uh, good old Canada, eh, right? Uh, good friends with Mark Skill of Trigger Tech. And uh, we had California. We had a bunch of folks out there. It was, just, it was a blast overall. And uh, I'm honored and blessed to uh, have told a uh, three-star general, uh, mistakenly, to go warm up my toilet seat in the Port of John when I didn't realize that the guy was a three-star general. So anyway, I'm glad that I'm not uh, cleaning uh, uh, porta potties out myself, but <laughs> as a civilian, uh, I don't have to worry about that. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a long video, um, but I had a blast, and I can't wait till next year. We're going to be doing the fall brawl in five weeks. We'll be sticking into it. Uh, getting back into to the 2A news like we normally do and giving my viewpoint on where I think the world could improve. Uh, God bless Israel. With that, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Cheers, boys. Strength and honor.